Okay, here's your Kenmore 500 series. It's also on some Maytags. And if you look at the drum here, you'll see we're not talking about this action. We're talking about this action here. This has got a lot of slob. It's almost like the only thing that's holding it on is the agitator here in the center. But basically the basket is flopping kind of loosely here. And what this is, is the main bearing, or it's called a hub. It's called a drive hub. And here I have another one. And these agitators, you have to take a little bit of oil, get in there and pull it off, get something underneath to pry it off. Uh, they can be a little stubborn. It's ideally you'd want to put some uh, anti-seize material on it when you put it back on in case it happens again, and it probably will. And so this is actually the drive hub here. And it's held on with this little clip. This little clip basically goes underneath here. See the little holes there? It goes in there and it holds, holds it on. There's a little cutout here that holds it on. These splines here are still good. I would probably treat these with uh, uh, some WD-40 or something before I put it on. Anti-seize material would probably be good too. Basically it goes on like this. This is what holds the basket in place. And it looks like the spline is still there to a degree, but it's actually worn out. And again, once again, the, the symptom is basically your basket is like flopping around, making a loud noise kind of thing. And if you look at it, there's no actual splines in here. They're worn out. And so... I sell this part. If you're interested in buying this part, you can contact me, Mr. Maintain at Hotmail.com, and uh, I can coach you over the phone on how to fix this as well. 707-443-8347, Pacific Time. Okay, so in order to clean this out, if you want to take it apart and clean it out, these screws here have to come off. This cover plate there has to come off and you sort of pull it forward and then up. You can see how these hooks are. You have to sort of pull it forward and up. There's a hook there, it holds it in. Another hook there. And then you can lift it up and then you can take off the plastic rim here and then pull the basket out. here, here, along here, pull this out, and you can pull the basket out. Okay, so these are the clips that hold the round thing, whatever, this uh, top part on. And you have to take them off individually. There's no easy way to take these things off. We basically have to take something and pry underneath to pry these parts loose here pry individually each one loose then it will come up and you'll have your basket and you can clean out your basket a little bit a little bit of a residue here we can clean up and turn it upside down there may be some coins in here actually see some coins in here and we can clean this out too Okay, so and to clean this out, basically you can take some vinegar or some sort of 409 or something like that, spray it along here. Get yourself a good stiff brush and or just some uh, little steel wool. Go along here and get all this residue off. And uh, so you got that cleaned off. You can go in here, you can actually go in here and check this pump here. There's like a quarter inch nut here on the top. Just pull this off and see if there's anything stuck inside there. So check your pump. Okay, so you can also clean these out from the bottom. You can loosen this hose. You can see I've got this laying down on the back porch. 
You loosen the hose, you can look up in there. Take it and take a little uh little uh paper clip. You can reach in there, fish around. Clean that out that way. And thanks for watching. If you need any help, you can contact me, 707-443-8347 Pacific Time. And ask about my how to repair appliances training course. And I take two students a year, give you uh, two years of coaching and a link to over 100 repair videos. And thanks for watching.